Dabo Swinney here on the Rich Eisen Show. In a couple minutes, I have left with you. Uh, the quarterback at Alabama, when you coach the wide receivers and tight ends, is actually uh, going to be on Monday Night Football on the sideline of the, the Cleveland Browns against Richard Sherman, uh, coordinating the offense, essentially, to uh, try and score points on Richard Sherman and Freddie Kitchens. Um, uh, is there uh, a good Freddie Kitchens story that uh, you knew at the time that he was going to be head coaching material? Dabo? <laughs> Uh, no, not, I can't really say that. I just, I like when he was, when I was there as a coach, when I was coaching receivers, he was the, the, he was our quarterback. Right. Um, so it was obviously spent a lot of time was part of the recruit process and he came in. Freddie was a really good player. And, uh, but he, he, uh, he was never real committed to his diet and, uh, taking care of himself. So he was always one of the, one of the, one of the biggest quarterbacks, uh, who had ever been around, but he was really talented and could play. He was a smart player. He had a lot of gutsy instincts. Um, uh, you know, I didn't know if he was, that he would end up going into coaching at the time, but, uh, we came back, we had to beat Auburn in 1996. Uh, it was about a, I don't know, maybe two minutes or a little less, something like that. But I don't think we had any timeouts, if I remember correctly. And we got to go the distance to beat Auburn. And it's Coach Stallings' last game. You know, he's retiring after the game. Players don't know that. Us coaches knew that. And uh, I just remember being up in the in the box uh, on the headset with Woody McCorvey. He was our offense coordinator. And he's like, hey, we're going to put Freddie in the shotgun. And we're going, what? You know, because we never – we, you know, at that we had, we were not we were an I formation team. We'd never been a shotgun. Sure. And Woody's over there telling, <laughs> and and our OL coach is going, shotgun. Have you lost your mind? And Woody's like, hey, we got no chance. We got no time. We got to we got to put it back there where we can see. It. And uh, so it was a, it was a, they're literally were drawing up plays on the sideline on what we're going to do in the shotgun. And, and uh, Freddie takes us right down the field. Literally takes us right down the field and. Uh, uh, we win the game and, and, and hit, he hits Dennis Riddle on a little angle route to win the game. It was a, an epic moment. Uh, so I've seen him uh, under pressure, and uh, you know I've just I've always had a lot of respect for him. He's a very transparent uh, guy, and uh, he's worked his butt off uh, to get to where he is, and uh, got a lot of fight to him. So uh, he'll he'll uh, he'll do a good job. And, just excited for his opportunity, and uh, I think he and Baker Mayfield are they, they'll, they'll be they'll be a good tandem, and uh, they'll get this thing going and be successful there in Cleveland. That's what I think. For more of the Rich Eisen Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on Directv for free on BR Live, or download the Rich Eisen Show app.